Welcome to a lesson in what should be going on when you play things that require you to reuse your fingers, as in legato scales and similar patterns. Let's go! Let's start by making five critically important points. Number one. There is never, ever, I mean ever, any need to do any kind of physical contortions with any of your body parts. And in this case, there's absolutely no need to bend your thumb over, you know, hide it under your palm, tuck it, bend it, stretch it, scrunch it, right? Boo! If you do any of these things, you're going to look and sound like a robot, and you're going to learn to hate music. Boo! Number two, there is never, ever, any need to do any kind of special exercises or any other kind of physical training that is supposedly designed to make your thumbs stronger, or faster, or snappier, or more flexible, right? So you never need to do stuff like, like this. Right? Your body doesn't need to be trained physically. Your body is Fine, just the way it is. Number three, you're going to see a lot of experts, experts, people in books, teachers, people all over the internet who describe this transition here, going up or coming down. As a thumb something. They're going to describe it as a thumb under or a thumb over or passing the thumb under the palm or tucking the thumb or snapping the thumb. And I'm here to tell you right now, all of those descriptions are dead wrong. And they're misleading. They're misleading because they all suggest that it's your thumbs that are doing all the work. Well, I'm here to tell you right now. Your thumbs are not doing the work. No, no, no. Number four is this. The technique is not, not to play a group of notes one, two, three, with a static hand position, then tuck your thumb, shift, one, two, three, four, tuck, shift, one, two, three, tuck, shift, one, two, three, four, etc. right? No! Boo! Boo! Thumbs down! Boo! Number five. The choreography of this transition is a lot simpler than you think. It's not some complicated maneuver that requires special training that can only be mastered after years and years of physical ah, physical practice. No, 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 boo! We can do better. So what is really going on when we play these transitions the right way? Transition. Going up. Now transition coming down.
Well, I hope you realize this, right? You, you need to incorporate all the basics of piano technique. And I'm not going to go into those in infinite detail here, right? You need to watch my whole video series on piano technique fundamentals. But I will highlight two critically important ingredients that pertain especially to this transition. And those are these. Ingredient number one is you should always be leading with your arm, right? Whether you're going up or down, you're leading with your arm. And of course, since your hand is attached to your arm, your hand is going to go along for the ride. And so, since your fingers are attached to your hand, your finger is going to go along for the ride, right? So, again, this is another example of you don't just play the piano with your fingers. You play with your whole body. The second ingredient is this. As you lead with your arms, simply allow the last finger in each group, right? One, two, three. This is the last one. Simply allow that finger to step to the key. As you continue to move your arm without stopping, right? You're going to continue to move your arm in the direction that the music's going. And as you do so, you're simply going to transfer the weight from this finger, the last note in this group, to the first note in the next group. And again, I'm starting and stopping here, but this is continuous, right? So, and it doesn't matter which direction you're going, right? You always want your arm to lead and never stop. So coming down would be, this is the last note in the group. Allow it to stick, right? We're not scrunching or stretching. We're just going to allow your thumb to stick as your arm leads and keeps moving in the direction of the music. And we're going to transfer our weight again to the first note of the next group. And so on. And so on. Simple. Two thumbs up.